To download and install Fresh Animations, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to go to our web browser. I want to go ahead and search for Fresh Animations Minecraft in your search engine. You then want to go ahead and click on the first link at the top, which should be the Curse Forge link. So once you're on the homepage, it should look something like this, where you can go ahead and scroll down and find out more information about it. In this case, we want to download it. So you want to click on the Files tab just at the very top, and it'll give you a list of versions. So to find the correct version, you want to find the version with the correct game version here. In this case, we want to download for 1.19.4, but this only has 1.19.3. But in this case, we can guarantee it's going to work as it's still within the 1.19 version. So to download it, you just want to click on it. And then you want to click on this drop down menu next to install. And then you want to click on download file. After a few seconds, the file will begin to download automatically, but you can go ahead and save the file on your computer. In this case, I'm going to use my desktop. So now we've got fresh animations downloaded to our computer, we just need to install it. And to do this, you want to right click on your Windows icon at the bottom, and then you want to select Run. Then you want to type in percent update to percent and click on OK. This will take you to your file explorer. From here, you want to click on the .minecraft folder at the top, and then you want to scroll down slightly and find where it says resource packs and click into that. From here, you just want to drag and drop the fresh animations resource pack into the resource pack folder. However, fresh animations isn't going to work by itself because it requires modded features. So we need to go ahead and install Optifine. So the first thing we need to do is to go to our Minecraft launcher and then you want to select the version of Minecraft you want fresh animations for. Once you're ready, you want to click on play. So once the correct version of Minecraft has loaded up, we can go ahead and quit the game. The reason why we do this is to make sure we've got the correct files installed to our computer to ensure Optifine can install itself. So to install Optifine, we just need to go to our web browser and you want to search for Optifine in your search engine and click on the first link at the top, which will be Optifine.net. So once you're on the Optifine website, it should look something like this. So to download the correct version of Optifine, you want to click on Downloads just at the very top. And then you want to click on Show All Versions and you want to find the correct version of Optifine for your game. In this case, we want 119.4. So you want to click on the Download button. And then you want to wait 5 seconds for the add to skip and then you should see a skip button in the top right. So you want to go ahead and click on the skip button. And then you want to go ahead and click on the download button in the middle of the screen. And then you just want to install Optifine onto your computer. In this case I'm going to use my desktop. You may get a warning saying that Optifine could harm your computer. But this is only because Windows doesn't recognise it. But I can ensure you that it's completely safe as millions of people install it every month. So now we've got Optifine downloaded to our computer. We just need to go ahead and install it. So to do this, you just want to right click on it, then you want to hover over open with, then you want to select the Java platform. If you still don't see this, you want to click on choose another app, and then you want to choose the Java platform from this menu. If you still don't see this, you will need to install Java to your computer, and I will leave a link to that video in the description. Once you're ready, you want to click on always, and the Optifine installer should open. So it's actually very simple, all we need to do is to make sure our install directory is correct, in this case it's in our .minecraft folder, and then you want to click on install. It will then take a couple of seconds to install and once it's done it will say it's successfully installed and click on OK. So to play Minecraft with fresh animations all we need to do is reopen our Minecraft launcher and then in the version selection menu you just want to select the Optifine version. You then want to go ahead and click on play, click on I understand the risks and click on play. So as you can see I'm currently in a Minecraft world. So to activate our fresh animations all we need to do is go to our menu, click on options and then click on resource packs. You then want to make sure the Fresh Animations resource pack is then selected. It says it's incompatible because it's made for 1.19.3, but it should still work. So once you're ready, you want to click on Done, and when the resource pack loads up, it will then be activated. So if we go back to our game, as you can see, the mobs now look really animated. And as I've created in this video, 77 mobs out of 86 have been completed, so the resource pack is almost done. And that's it, so if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.